Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran. Dial 919-ALL-4s for a free legal consultation. Hello again and welcome to our first Carolina Insider of the 2022-23 athletic season. My name is Jones Angel. Man, we're excited to be back with you. And of course, we have a ton of football to talk about here on the show. Hard to believe season just a week away. You're going to hear from Tar Heel head coach Mac Brown, his team preparing for that August 27th meeting with Florida A&M. Two new members of Coach Brown's staff, although they've been in Chapel Hill before, Gene Chizik and Charlton Warren, both of those guys working with Carolina's defense. They were each mic'd up during practices during this training camp. You'll see some of that. Of course, the man who leads this entire athletic department, that's Bubba Cunningham. Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to talk to Bubba about Carolina football and a bunch of other topics. You'll hear that conversation and Action has started. The first official game of the athletic season was Thursday of this week as Carolina and Tennessee met in Chapel Hill in women's soccer. Both those teams ranked in the top 15. Carolina looked dominant, winning 3 0. You'll see highlights from that. But let's get started with the head coach of Carolina football. From earlier this week, here's Mac Brown. One of the toughest things for a head coach is how much do you run? How much do you hit? Uh, in the heat um, and and try to stay healthy. I mean, it's a it is a real uh, dilemma for head coaches this time of the year all across the country. And then again, I saw yesterday, I think there's six teams in the top 25 that are on our schedule. And then the three that we start with are are really good teams that, that don't get as much publicity as some of the others, but they're all teams that have won nine or 10 games uh, the last couple of years. We have more um, we have more stats with this team than we've had. We got three years now, uh, two where we were really moving forward and then one where we didn't do as well. Uh, so we got a lot of things to talk about with them now that we didn't have when we first got here. And, and now we can show them. We can go back and show them the Appalachian State game three years ago. We can go back and, and show them last year that uh, we had a chance to win at Pitt and we had a chance to win at Notre Dame in the fourth quarter and we had a chance to win at NC State. and. Um, uh, that, that we didn't play with passion on defense against Florida State. And uh, we turned it over three times in the first quarter against Georgia Tech. Um, and then we beat Miami and we beat Wake Forest and we came from behind to beat Wake Forest. We, we've got a lot of, of information now that we can give them that we haven't had in the past. So it's, it's easier to coach them when you can show them, here's what we've done well and here's what we got to do better. And it's, it's obvious we got to win close games on the road. And, and that's easy. Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to do, but easy to say. So every day out here in the fourth quarter, I tell them this is a road game. We, we got 20 minutes left. Um, you got to finish strong. And, and that's, that's why this preaching to this group is probably a little bit different because we have, uh, we have really positive things to show them in our past and things that need to get fixed. And I've told them everything in this, what I've told you all, everything in this program is good. You need to win more games. And that's it, period. So grades are good, kids are good, recruiting's good, uh, facilities are good and getting better. Everything's good, need to win more games. And, and that's on us as coaches to, to put them in positions to do that. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. <laughs> That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here. So stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles. And when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. 
That's right. Place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months plus $500 bonus cash. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here, so stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles, and when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. That's right, place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck, and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show as we normally do early in the season and in fact multiple times during the year. Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to speak with Bubba Cunningham, Carolina's Director of Athletics. Of course, there is so much going on, not just around Carolina athletics, but the world of college athletics right now. Adam and I discussed a bunch of those relevant topics with Bubba. Let's get to that chat. It felt like basketball's run and, and baseball's run and the, and the championship for women's lacrosse. It just felt like it kind of brought every back, everybody back to, to campus and kind of fell back in love with, with Carolina. Did you feel that way? A hundred percent. Man, you kind of get goosebumps thinking <laughs> about it. I mean, that last couple of months of the academic year was fantastic. You mentioned um, a couple of our sports, also golf, yeah. had a great finish to the season as well. And there's just an enthusiasm and a pride. And to have people back, I do. it's been three years. So we had our all-staff meeting just the other day, and we were back in Loudermilk doing it. Last time we were outside in the Pope Box. And so having everyone back, this sense of community, things that we talked about before, with COVID, we all went in our separate direction. Now everybody's back, and I cannot wait to get everybody back for all of our games. Because as I said, we're going to have really good teams this fall, and to get the fans back is something I think is going to be special for our teams. What are you excited about, about getting a, a real home crowd back at Keenan again, and, and what kind of feeling are you getting from football this fall? It's great. You know, we're, we're, we are early. We're in week zero, but we're also back on campus uh, and starting class August 15th. So it's actually good that we have an early game because I, and this may be the earliest we've ever started. I don't know. But having everybody back, and I was just talking to the football staff yesterday, the thing I love about college athletics are all the students being back. You hear the whistles at football. You hear the band practicing. They lit up the tower, the bell tower the other night. Those are the things that are so exciting. We've got the Marching 100 coming with FAMU as well. So it's going to be a great day. We're doing a lot of things with the HBCU and a lot of their cultural events around this weekend. And I think it's going to be a special weekend. So I'm sure hoping a lot of people can be here for the weekend, enjoy it, and then come to the game. Of course, August 27th, 8 o'clock in at Keenan Stadium. It's the second earliest kick date for Carolina football only in 2001. Carolina started at Oklahoma on August 25th, the only time that the Tar Heels have started earlier than this in a season. Uh, Why did so, I waste yeah, time? Yeah, sorry, Bubba, no big deal. What? Yeah, I know you know when the games were. When did the classes start? <laughs> you got me on that one. You got me on that one. Um, Bubba, this is year two now for NIL. We're, we're almost a, exactly a year from when NIL began last summer. How has it changed your world and college athletics world over this last 13 months or so? Well, it really has changed a lot for our coaches, for our students. And they're just like everything else, when you get into something new, there's a lot of great things about it. And many of our student athletes have had this opportunity to create 
NIL opportunities for themselves. They've gone out and found businesses. They've figured out ways to monetize their name, image, and likeness and help businesses succeed. And that's been fantastic. I don't think we anticipated quite the speed of which these collectives were developed. The idea of NIL is you go out and monetize your ability to do things for others. What we've seen with the collectives is we're collecting money and then trying to find individuals to give it to, which is the absolute opposite of what it was. So it's a little bit bumpy and rocky, and the collectives do a wonderful thing for a lot of our students as well. It's just not exactly what we thought. I think one of our biggest challenges as we go forward is recruiting. You know, that's the one thing, or the one of two rules, you know, it's not supposed to be recruiting inducement, but we're unclear of how we're gonna try to navigate that space. We're the only sports organization in the world where the individual picks the team. Every other one, the team picks the individual through a draft, even in Little League Baseball, or your high school that you go to, it's this, the community you live in. So this is unique and different, and so I think is what we have to begin to talk about is, how do we try to get our arms around that, that recruiting process? You talked to us back before this even started and said, this is going to happen and we need to be prepared that this is coming. What kind of things did that enable the athletic department to be prepared to do for NIL? And what kind of things have you done recently that you think will facilitate in whatever way that you can this process for, for Tar Heel student athletes? I think we've done a really good job of educating our student athletes <clears throat> about what those opportunities might be and trying to create opportunities for them. The, uh, the North Carolina, the exchange program we have with Influencer, which matches up companies with individual students, I think is a great one. Providing services, whether it's legal or not legal advice, but pointing them in the right direction for legal advice or tax advice. We've, we've provided great service there. This whole thing about collectives, we're, we are wrestling with that because the collectives are all outside of the university. All these individual deals for students are outside the university, but those are alumni and friends of the program that wanna help. And so it's, it's an arm's length relationship with friends of ours. And so how do we try to make sure that they have the information they need and they can also develop relationships with our students to provide them opportunities in this space. And so it, it's been a challenge to, to navigate that space. And what we're trying to do is communicate what we are doing. Communicate it to our students, communicate it to the public, communicate it to the collectives and say, here's what you can and can't do, which is basically you can do whatever you want to do for our students, but let's do it in the Carolina way. Let's do something that we're comfortable with. Well, the last thing on this topic, are the students more savvy in, in the marketplace at this point a year later? Absolutely. You know, we have 800 student athletes. Some of them are very savvy in the marketplace. Some of them don't want any part of it. Mm. And so it's all across the board. So, but the ones who have gone out there and created their own deals, they've learned a ton. And so all the things about running your own business, being entrepreneurial, all those skills that we wanted them to learn, a lot of them have. And I'm delighted for those folks. Um, the rest are somewhere in the middle. And, and that's probably what we would have expected. And so, as I said, there's, there's good and bad with it. And uh, I think the, the good has outweighed the bad, but I think there's a few things we need to really look at as we move forward. The transfer portal, recruiting, mm. we have to get our arms around that because right now, that is a real frustration for our coaches. And I feel badly for the coaches that spend a lot of time recruiting students and doing everything they can to get them to come. And then all of a sudden they get frustrated they're not playing or there's a better deal somewhere else and they can leave so quickly. And so we, we have to moderate that. I think we could have said this exact same thing these last two summers when we <laughs> sat here. It feels like the big news in college sports this summer was some conference movement. What did you think as you saw all of that unfold and where does Carolina stand as we look at the landscape right now? Well, it, it was a little surprising, two years in a row. I mean, two of the major brands in two other conferences choose to go to a different one. But what I'm really happy with, the ACC is strong. The ACC is as strong as it's ever been. I mean, we have 15 great schools, 14 that play all the sports, and then Notre Dame in with the Olympic sports and five football games a year. And we're in a great position. Now, financially, there's a gap, and we're gonna do everything we can to close that gap. Our, actually, the execution of incorporating some of those new schools into new leagues, I think will be a challenge for them. So I think the one thing about our league that I like the best is we're up and down the East Coast, and I think that makes a lot of sense. We've, we're moderating how we're gonna change our uh, travel schedule for football, so we'll play teams more often. But I think our challenge as a league will be to continue to find ways to help ESPN and help ourselves close that revenue gap. What are some things that can be done to, to close that gap? Well, it, we're, we're a relatively new network. 
And so if you look at the advertising on the network, I think there's ways that we can help ESPN sell more advertising. I think we can be better partners with ESPN to try to make the thing more profitable. And once you do that, then everybody's going to succeed. So we're, we're talking about ways that we can do that. Um, whether or not we change some of the program. You know, they have modified the programming a little bit. Are there ways for the schools to contribute more to the programming and maybe get more out of the relationship with ESPN on an individual basis? I think that's another thing we can look at. Are there games that aren't being televised that maybe they would come back to the school and we maybe be able to put on a different platform? And I think those are ways to help both ourselves and ESPN. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here, so stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles, and when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. That's right, place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck, and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919-ALL-FOURS. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here. So stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles. And when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. That's right, place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months plus $500 bonus cash. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Thanks for being here on the Carolina Insider show one of the season. My name is Jones Angel. There were a couple staff changes for Carolina football after last season with several occurring on the defensive side. Two names that are familiar to Carolina fans, Gene Chizik and Charlton Warren, both of those coaches with Carolina football in the 2015 and 16 seasons returned to Chapel Hill now under Mac Brown. Coach Chizik guiding the defense, Coach Warren working with the secondary. Each of those gentlemen at one point or another was mic'd up during this training camp for Carolina football. Cameras were there too. Let's take a look and listen. Pad level's awesome, Ritz. Pad level's awesome. Take his hip off. Take his hip off. Take his hip off. Got to block it and win the game. Block it and win the game. Block it and win the game. No! Walk through tempo. Bang hips. Bang hips. Bang, hips, good, here we go again. All open field tackles come down to a box. I'm gonna come in here and I want them to make, they're gonna give you a move, they're gonna shake you down, and I want them to beat you past these two cones. I don't care how they do it. Sit, hut, peace, release. Good job, nice Noah. Good, good, here we go. Sit, hut, good, nice, good. Coming around the tackle, good, right there, good. Right. There, reduce it. Nice, nice, nice. So you want to make sure you're aiming for the inside shoulder.
to be able to stay square and still spill. Otherwise, we ain't gonna be getting kicked out, right? So we're gonna stay right here, where I'm gonna go boom, I'm gonna attack that, putting this cheek on his side, staying square, so if the sway goes past me, now I go and, and surf, right, and retrace. Surf with pad level, see it? Hut down, good, good, yes, nice, 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 hut, good, surf, surf, nice, Chris, nice, great base. Hey, cause remember, because you're, you're so active all the time, we got to kind of corral that a little bit, right? It's just bang, boom, 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 boom. Right? You got to corral all that wildness, right? See it? Hut! Good. Got to fight it, right? Got to fight it. That's your gap. You got to cut out. Good job, Malachi. There go. Oh! I got warmed up. I got warmed up, Cam. Got out of the ball. Get it out. Get it out. Good. Hey! Don't put the cart before the horse. Secure the tackle. Don't put the cart before the horse. Secure the tackle. There it is, Tony. Now, a little bit, you probably felt yourself off balance when you reached, right? Because you did, you kept moving, but you did squat here, got your feet outside your body, and so that was the next step. Try to get faster feet here, faster, boom, 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 so you can have quick steps there. North Carolina fan my whole life. My first game, I went to Georgia Tech versus uh, Carolina back when I was a little kid, so I've been a Tario fan forever. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Keep doing great stuff. Here we go. This is what we're doing. I'm here. Set hit. I'm glad. I'm gathered. I'm gathered. He stops. I drive. He goes. He goes. I just spin and tip and run. Don't cross over. Here we go. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Nice, Dutton Nash. That's a great job with your footwork. Great job with your footwork. Big out, big out, big out. There you go. He stays, you stay. He stays, you stay. Nice job. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah. Hey, let's go. Pick it up. We need a ball. We need a ball. We're close, man. We're close. Help him, help him, help him, help him, help him. Hell yeah, baby. That's a great job. That's a great job, man. That's a great job. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here, so stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles, and when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. That's right, place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck, and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. The Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event is here, so stop by your Ford dealer today. Check out our great offers on select Ford vehicles, and when you lock in your order, we'll lock in your rate. That's right, place your custom order on a 2023 Ford F-150 truck, and your interest rate is locked. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. That's how Ford is supercharging your summer today. Now place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash. 
Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Thanks again for being here on the Carolina Insider. Let's wrap up show number one with some action from sports other than football. That's soccer, women's soccer, getting things started with the first official game of this athletic season for the Tar Heels. It was a matchup with Tennessee earlier this week in Dorrance Field. Boy, the Tar Heels look good. Let's see some highlights of that 3-0 win. Oh, man. Top of the box, a little header off the crossbar. Game on there. Tar Heels on the board first here. 1-0 lead. I think that might be Ali Gambone's first career goal. Shot just off the hand of Josephson. Got a piece of it with her right hand. Laser from Fresco. They've done so at least on two occasions. Corner for the Tar Heels. Ball still loose. Couple opportunities as that one ping ponged around and eventually it's sent out of bounds. I do have to say, Tennessee has done an exceptional job defending inside the 18. Hanson with a header. Couldn't find the goal in the first half. No problem here in the second. Does it become very apparent for Tennessee that they have to push and find some offense? Carolina finding some offense, though. Here's Patterson. Patterson with the goal. 3 nothing Tar Heels. To answer your question, I'd say now. Down three goals with just over 12 minutes left. A 3-0 win to open the 2022 season for the Tar Heels. One show down, a lot more to go. We're excited to be with you all season long. Of course, next week, Carolina and Florida A&M highlights and much, much more. See you next time on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.